Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-November readings for all zodiac signs. Like I always say, these are general readings, so if they resonate with you, that's awesome. And if they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. Um, in this month of November, anyone that does schedule a hour reading with me will receive a free mystery healing box done by me. They make great gifts. And even if you wanted to friend a reading for someone, I would gladly send the box to them from a gift from you. So if you want to learn tarot, I also have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus, $20 a piece. Give me a shout if you want to learn tarot. Whew, all that out of the way. This reading is going to be for Virgo. Let's see what's shaking with you in mid-November of 2018. Virgis, I think you'll find what you're looking for. You'll see the forest through the trees, so to speak. So let's get into it. Virgis, you might be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you might be picking up the properties of a fire sign. Somebody who's very passionate, creative, motivated, go gets it done. Virgis, maybe there is a certain situation or person here that does make you feel fired up and passionate. So, Virgs, let's get it. We're going to start off with the Two of Wands. Now, this is being at a crossroad. You know, go, bleh. you got to go left, you got to go right. And what's crossing you to help a hinter? You have the Ace of Cups. The universe giving you this new opportunity. The holy grail of love here, Virgs. New love. Renewing love. Love for yourself. Virgs, however it applies. Maybe you have to make a decision. You're going to go with love? Or are you going to go it alone? Now, in your foundation, Virgs, you have the Gemini card of the lovers. Now, this is this soulmate connection, this deep bond. Virgs, you can't compare it to anything else. It's almost like you feel like you're a part of the other person. Virgo, maybe you've met somebody that makes you feel this way. And it stirs up all these, you know, crazy feelings and stuff. You might have met a soulmate. I can't help but look for under the fire sign here. You get the sun card, the most positive card in the whole deck. And when I see this card, I'm always looking at the planets and where they are. In Virgo, maybe the timing, divine timing, is now that this connection comes to you. Now, what's crowning your whole reading, Virgs? You've got the Ten of Swords. Now, this is feeling backstabbed, betrayed, lied to, cheated on. You know how I feel about the card. I'm so done with you! Deuces. Tens are at the end of a cycle, Virgs. Whatever happened in the past stays there. You have this fresh road that you can go down and have something truly amazing, Virgo. Don't let the, per the past hurt or the past betrayals hinder you from having this. Because in your recent past, you have the Ten of Wands. And this is taking all your experiences, all your know-how, and all those burdens, and moving forward with them. 
intend to be at the end of a cycle here, Virgo. This is when it all drops. It comes, your load comes lighter. Now look, Virgo. You get 10 here, end of a cycle, 10 here. It's the end of carrying all those feelings or ill feelings or negative feelings. Everything that's ever, you know, weighed you down. Choose the road of love here, Virgo. It will lighten your load. Because going into your future, Virgo, yep, you get the devil. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Earth side such as yourself. But the devil is about addictions, illusions, obsessions, feeling bound and tied to a situation that you don't think is ever going to end or change, codependency, gambling, you know, you name it. Anything negative that brings you down. I think because of whatever this was, that you can't still carry it around, that you seem not to be able to get rid of. Virgs, you're bringing in to the future with you. Leave all that in the rear view. Take the fresh road. Not every scenario is going to be the same, Virgs. Now, you, be, you might be t thinking to yourself, for some, that maybe you don't deserve this, this holy grail of love. Boulder Dash! Virgo, get that idea right out of your head. There is always a person for a person out there. You gotta keep looking. You gotta keep going forward. If one situation that was hurtful, painful, didn't pan out, something will. The universe wants you to have it. Now, how people see you in your environment, Virgo, they see you as the Six of Pentacles. Now, this is the even exchange of 50-50. Even exchange of generosity. You always want to make sure that you're receiving as much as you're giving. And people are looking at you like this, Virgs, like you're fair. That you will give somebody a fair shake. That something can be balanced. So, Virgo, give somebody that fair shake. Now, this could be coming to you or coming from you. Keep it in mind. In your environment, Virgs, you have the Wheel of Fortune, a.k.a. the Karma card. But it's in the upright, which means things start falling into place. Things start working in your favor. They start going your way. And again, like I said before, you know, divine timing. You know, maybe your karma here, Virgo, is to get out of that negative field and leave it behind you and give, your, give yourself that fair shake and let something come in. Because, Virgo, you deserve it. Don't ever tell yourself that you don't because of the past. The past is in the review. In your hopes and fears... Virgs, you have the world card. And the world card is ending old cycles and letting the brand new come in. All those new opportunities, those new avenues, the, the, the potential is immense. Thus, the world. You know, I would look at this as a hope, Virgo, that you can close out this. Because it's, it's, it's done. This means the past, the worst, is behind you. Let it go. Can't change it. You can only make things better. Absolutely. And don't let the people around you suck your positive energy out of you. I'll tell you you can't. I'll tell you you don't deserve. Because we're going... Is farthest from the truth. The universe makes decisions here, and the universe wants to hand you new love. Your outcome card here, Virgo. 
is the Four of Wands, a.k.a. the Marriage card. It's also a card about taking something to a higher level, a deepening a bond or strengthening a commitment. So Virgo, if you get this brand new journey, take that fresh road. You might find exactly what you're looking for. Give yourself that fair shake. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.